Welcome, my friends, and welcome to your bi weeklies going from July 16th to July 31st. So, before I start, just a few quick announcements. Welcome to all new people to this channel, and I hope you're going to like it. So, if you do, please also join Facebook, and for every share post, it's going to count like one entry toward a possibility of winning a free reading. Also, there is like two question offer for $45. You can check it on my website under July specials. And second special is X spread, which you can see from my X series released last week, how this works. It is currently for $50. So let's start. Hi Taurus, here is like Miss Safi decided to join in the first reading today. How are you Safi? You like Tauruses? Yes, come on, come here, come, 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 come. Watch out, kitty bum showing. Yes, don't show your privates, okay? You're showing this to the entire world. Say hi to Taurus. There you go. Everyone's a little bit delayed. She just woke up, in all honesty. Okay, guys. Welcome to your bi-weekly. And Safi obviously says hi. You must be really special. Even though she wanted to show you her behind. So, before I start, you have two cards from two different decks. Well, this is interesting because we're waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life and this kind of goes without saying you guys are willing to work hard and willing to wait the earth energy doesn't move very fast but you know it, it gets there right and now like you're probably realizing where you really want to be and and why now this kind of was an interesting card because i kind of like took it as a guidance right so check it out there is the person kind of like literally stuck right so this is kind of a new twist kind of let me see if this is going to get better i have to learn with this camera it looks like when i'm moving too fast it gets the blur in okay sorry about it here we go so this is kind of like a new take on right uh new to uh, on the whole idea of getting stuck between a rock and a hard place, right? But it looks like this is really calling exa exactly to that kind of sort of situation where you get stuck in this indecisive and possibly dualistic aspect of your mind, right? Should you kind of let go and should you fall head first? Or should you let your legs go and go with legs down, fall feet first? So where shall I go? Here and there, right? Should I say yes or no? And whatever decision you make, you always wonder if it would be better if you decide the other way, right? So the only way, basically, out of this dilemma is, you know, just let go of both at once. You know, you can't kind of work your way out of this one solving it, right? Because eventually everything kind of like gets weaker and tired. So it's as best you know like uh, not to make a list of pros and cons and simply just like making it happen so follow your heart if you can find it if you cannot find just jump in and your heart will start beating and so then you're going to basically totally know where you are and why so schizophrenia is kind of interesting uh, example because it means creating a different reality right it's a normal condition of a man because we have been brainwashed with so many messages and we are being told to believe in something else what is being served on us so let's see really how these two cards will relate to your reading so what do you have you have neighbor chalices somebody is offering love and there are some kind of boundaries are you feeling defensive towards or somebody might feel defensive about that so you have nine of wands reversed. They'll be surprised. You will be surprised by, by some event, something that will happen. Nine of wands. Something was really passionate in the past over here. Kind of like dragged and came with you to the present. 
Wow, fire again for a once reversed. It is kind of like moving. It's moving forward. Things are moving forward for you guys. So, yeah, this is the realization, right? You have to drop it. Like, I mean, in the game of love, there are no victories. And this is kind of the realization. Oh, my gosh. I've just been through something that everybody lost. How do you feel? Well, this is Queen of Pentacles reversed. It could mean you. It could mean feeling a little bit superficial because you also have a fire, so it's coming on the surface. Maybe you're being burned out a little bit. But this could also mean that maybe uh, you feel inadequate. Maybe there is like uh, a self-esteem issue. Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe, maybe there is somebody else kind of like in your mind like generally to me this is a card of a wife or somebody else interfering right but it could be also like i mean that certain things are playing kind of you know games on you so your environment eight of wands my gosh you have lots of fire and fears and hopes ten of cups really good <laughs> and guess what this is what this card is this is the same thing, right? Kind of like walking through it. Just trust. Just keep going. Just do one thing at a time versus being stuck. This is like now a reinforced message, right? About some kind of duality. And this is literally what you have to focus. What is that your heart says? What is that your head say? And where is the truth in between, right? So let's go a little bit deeper. So what was with this neighbor once in the past? Well, did you break up with someone? Because like two of them are a couple, but he or one partner is in the past. And it could be uh, ending up a long-term relationship, running up marriage. Or maybe it was just simply hope to be with someone. But this could be also you guys, because King of Pentacles generally talks about uh, Taurus. It could be that you try to energize yourself to kind of like become stronger. And then maybe you got surprised with certain things. Eight of um, Swords. It's actually not a bad card. You see, in the upper situation, there is like this mistrust of of our abilities can i come down from this tree or will i get hurt what's waiting for me i'm not only stuck in the tree but i'm blindfolded and and i can kind of like end up on these swords so here is realizing actually it's really not this bad like something like kind of took you by surprise and you kind of like initially maybe kind of reacted to it but you realize hmm you know what it's like all right i can handle it even though it might look like that you missed some kind of opportunity and because you maybe waited for too long this is kind of some kind of financial financial opportunity this is maybe a new start or could be a start and it was a false start and didn't go anywhere so maybe this means that you are like restarting let's see what is about this yeah kind of like feeling really comfort we see like here is like something that didn't start it didn't start and here you actually really want to accomplish everything this is talking about abundance and feeling comfort oh my gosh kind of like you want everything you want love you want a soulmate and and you want abundance and somebody who comes with a checkbook so sorry i know that you guys have reputation and this is a reputation just like right in front of my eyes so there will be some ban kind of boundaries that will be established if anybody tries to kind of like fry too fast too soon in your life this is not going to be welcome and this is kind of interesting ten of swords that is coming out here so this is maybe some kind of alertness that you have over certain things that happen so if somebody kind of starts coming too fast toward you you might feel that you want to run away as this is going to remind you of certain things that didn't work or maybe that certain healing still has to go on but in any case you will actually uh, see for a once reverse is still good it's just like it's for a once upright 
you will still kind of uh, keep going. This is kind of going to the next stage. If you were single, you will start to date. If you're dating, it's going to become a little bit more serious and so on and so forth, right? Another four. Kind of maybe you still haven't defined exactly what you need. And maybe this is why we have this card. It is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work. And maybe this is the timing to kind of like really reinforce in your own head what you want. Yeah, just be careful. These two cards are really talking about sleep. In both cards, the kitties are sleeping. Here, the kitty doesn't understand, well, this is what is given to you. So it keeps growing and creeps growing with options. And kitty is still sleeping. So don't, don't get lost in a fantasy world, right? The soulmate is a soulmate. Soulmate is going to come with like not 50 shades of gray, like a million, million and 50 shades of gray. So it's always a work situation, right? So here it is like the understanding of maybe it was a third party in the past. Maybe it was some big argument where everybody lost another five. Maybe somebody left you out in a cold. But your guy's healing. There is like this healing and kindness. And this is also understanding that you have friends. So what is this? Like feeling uprooted, feeling upside down. Huh. King of Swords again. You had a page of swords here and now you have a King of Swords reversed. Now this is interesting. You almost looks to me you're wishing upon somebody something really bad. And I'm really hoping this is not the truth. So Taurus, please comment on this. Because this is certainly a wish card. And this is somebody who is really not feeling in their element. Or they're like very, very superficial. And King of Swords is somebody extremely abrupt. Like think really Judge Judy. So would you like to actually have a dinner with Judge Judy? Kind of like why would you wish that? So that's why it makes me think you're wishing this upon somebody else, right? Kind of, okay, off you go. Like don't let the door kind of hit you on your way out. However, there is some kind of communicative nature uh, from your environment this time around. And then again talks about some kind of events. If something is going to still, whoa, double whammy, triple whammy. So, okay, you know what? Like from, from the people around you and maybe even from the people you loved, maybe even on some kind of travel, it's going to be something that will create anxiety, possible sleepless nights. Something will happen out of ordinary and it's going to really, really big surprise. It's going to be something that you do know that um, had to be fixed, but maybe you didn't have time. Maybe you had to heal yourself. Maybe you're too busy arguing because now you have like five of wands. You have like five of um, pentacles over here. So it is really time to um, to address it once for all because you really hope to get here. You hope to get this emotional fulfillment, the love and family and kind of like all this encompassing, but there is like still remains uh, remnants of something. And this talks about either a third person was involved or somebody destroy your maybe domestic bliss. It's very hard for you to move in the new relationship. Now you have the lovers. It is like talking about one. So hopes and fears, like you're so hoping for a love, a true love, a love of the lifetime, but one that you feel like twin flame, one person, the two of us, like I mean, really are shoulder to shoulder, but you do fear of being betrayed and you do fear of being let down. So, what's going to happen now you know why you have this card now you know why you're stuck between the rock and a hard place if you don't try if you don't buy a ticket you're not going to win the lottery right so this is again like this is the finish look queen of wands coming out here kind of you know you're going to become sexy you're going to become uh, kind of like in your element by the end, by taking a chance and you're going to get through, going to push it through. The Empress is also about creativity, it's about expressing yourself, it is about children, it's about motherhood, it's about fatherhood. Really, really good combination over here. 
Also, the Empress is connected to you guys, Tauruses. So it tells me that by the end of the month, you're going to start feeling really, really good about yourself. And the decision you're going to make is going to be okay. So what do I really need to check on here? I want to see what is this uh, Ace of Pentacles reverse here. Ace of Pentacles. What is this Ace of Pentacles for Taurus? Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it was Merchant Reverse. It is something that you maybe wanted that had to be renegotiated, that had to um, be reworked, but it didn't get reworked. It didn't go in the direction where you wanted it to go. So what is this tower and anxiety and sleepless nights and frustration all about? What what are the others doing it to you? And this could be like that you simply kind of like wish something to somebody else and you know, the wish returned back to you multifold. Be careful. What is this tower here? Uh-huh. It was about some kind of reunion. You might have so this is why it is. Maybe, you see, this is where you're a thorn. You do want somebody, possibly from your past. You're healing from this. But at the same time, you don't want to go back. It's kind of you want to redefine better how you're going further uh, ahead. And that's possibly why you have worth waiting for. So, okay, so what is this lovers? What is this lovers for Taurus? Lovers for Taurus. Lovers for Taurus. Yeah, be careful about jealousy. And I think that was the third person. That's why you have despair and jealousy. Uh, the fear is still blocking you. You need to. This is the fear that this is like fear based thinking to hope based thinking. The switch has to happen. And it, it looks like in your case is going to s is going to happen by almost force that something will happen for you to kind of do it. It's kind of interesting. It's really coming out to many people. So this could be either dedication to your kids or you are going to kind of like re-energize yourself and get into this youthful spirit. And let's peek into who is this. Wow, you see? This is really saying exactly what I thought. You guys are almost... You see, this was your enemy, somebody who, who you felt. That's why... You kind of like felt maybe somebody was more attractive or better than you, and there was lots of thoughts and then misfortunes. So you kind of do wish somebody does wish somebody misfortune. So if this is coming your way, you kind of have to shield yourself from from that negativity because this is not a good energy coming through, and maybe that's why you're going to have all these headaches and everything. So. Yeah, be really careful about your emotions right now. I really have to say that I know it's hard, but you have to command your own emotions because this is the weakest link in this reading. Everything else seems to be coming through and recovering, but really do not wish ill on anyone and focus on this wish. What is your wish for you, not for somebody else? Forget what others did to you because karma takes care of them. You only have to take care of yourself and where you are going. So Taurus, please subscribe, like, and share for your private reading. Please contact me directly. My information is like down in the description box. And monthlies are coming about in a week from now. So Stay tuned for that. I love you. Take care. Bye.